In this video, I will show you how to install game config for GTA 5 game. I will install game config for GTA 5 version 2802. But in this way you can install game config for other versions of GTA 5. Game config is needed for the game to work after adding new DLC. For example, after installing new cars in GTA 5. To install game config, you need to download it from the GTA 5 mods website. I will leave a link to it in the description under the video. There will be many different versions available in the archive, so download this particular mod. We also need to download the OpenIV program. If it is not downloaded from the official site, then you can find it on other sites with mods for GTA 5. Then you need to download the pack file limit adjuster and HEP adjuster. After the download is complete, we need to open the GTA 5 game folder where we have the GTA 5 application icon. Next, open Pack File Limit Adjuster and copy all files except text files to the GTA 5 game folder. We also open HEP Adjuster and simply copy all the files, except for text files, to the GTA 5 game folder. After that, you can delete the two archives that we installed. We don't need them anymore. Now we need to open the game config archive and select the game config file that will work with our version of GTA 5. There are a lot of versions in the archive, but we only need the version of the game config file that matches the version of our GTA 5 game. Therefore, we need to find out the version of our GTA 5 game. To find out what version of the game we have, we need to start GTA 5 and on the first loading screen it will say build and a number. This number is our version of the game. At the moment I have a version of the game 2802. For this version of GTA 5, you need to find the game config. Therefore, the game can be closed and you need to go into the archive with the game config file and find game config version 2802 there. If you have a different version of GTA 5 than mine, then look for your version in the older version folder. There are other versions of the game config file for other older versions of GTA 5. The game config version must match the GTA 5 version, otherwise it won't work. I found my version in this middle folder, so I go into this folder and copy the game config file that suits me. You can choose stock traffic or 1x traffic. Next, this game config file must be installed using the OpenIV program. To do this, run the OVA setup program and install the OpenIV program. Run the installer, select the language. Further, the installation path does not change and leave it unchanged. After that, a shortcut will appear on the desktop. You need to run it and click Windows. After that, you need to specify the path to the GTA 5 game. After that, you need to press Select and press Continue several times. The program will activate and run. After that, you need to enable the Edit button. It must always be enabled while working in the OpenIV program. Next you need to go to the tools and select ACI Manager. Everything needs to be installed. After that, you can close this window. Now we need to install the game config. It will help to eliminate errors. To install game config you need to go to the mods folder. You should have it in the game folder if you installed mods before. After that, you need to go to the update folder and then to the update.rpf folder. Next you need to go to the common folder and then to the data folder. This folder contains the standard game config. Therefore, it needs to be changed to a new modified one. On the game config that we unpacked from the archive. Therefore, we simply copy our game config file to the data folder. After that, the OpenIV program can be closed. Game config has been successfully installed and you can run GTA 5 with mods. After starting the game, it already starts normally and you can play with mods. All mods for new installed cars work. It is in this way that the problem is solved when starting the GTA 5 game or an endless download. That's all. If you liked the video, then subscribe to the channel and like it. Thank you all for watching.